Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. If you're new, it means so much if you click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day to lose weight. I recently did a whole video around my weight loss journey so I'll have that linked above and down below. But today I wanted to bring you guys along my day to share with you my go-to meals that I've been eating for weight loss. I'm a strong believer that eating healthy does not need to be boring. I love to find recipes that are healthy but also taste delicious and just feel like you're eating something that isn't the best for you but it actually is super healthy and nutritious for you. Thumbs up if you guys like these videos. I will definitely do more. I will also link a few of the ones that I've previously done so if you wanna check out my other meals that I typically eat, then definitely check out those videos. But it is currently breakfast time and your girl is hungry. I was working in my office for a little bit and I thought it was time for a break to get going on breakfast. So to start off with the morning, I always like to have a glass of water. I drink water all throughout the day. I'm gonna share with you guys my healthy go-to pancakes recipe. I've been making this for years. It tastes like something that just should be bad for you, but it's not. It's super great for you and it's super yummy. And I'm gonna share with you everything that I've been putting into it. So with that being said, I'm going to go get all the ingredients out and share with you what I put in them. To make the pancakes, you're going to need to blend it all up, starting with just a cup of oats. You can add more or less depending on how much you want to make. I also like to add some flax seeds into the mixture. You can't even taste it. It gets completely blended and it adds so much value to the pancakes. It adds omega-3, adds high quality protein, fiber, and there's just amazing nutrients to it. Then I also add one banana, two eggs, and to top it off, I like to personally top off my pancakes with some natural peanut butter, as you guys will see. And a little tip is take some frozen berries and just de-thaw a few of them and put them on top of your pancakes and it just tastes so delicious. Of course, you can use fresh berries or fruit that you have, but there's something about putting frozen berries on top. It just tastes so delicious once it's all de-thawed out and the juice is all over the pancake. So these are just the two toppings, but these four items are what you're going to need for the actual pancakes to make them and what you're going to put in your blender as you guys will see in a second. This is how breakfast turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then let you guys know once I'm eating something else. I'm just going to have a tea. This is the Tetley lemon and orange flavor. I really like this, so I'm just gonna have this right now instead of my coffee. And on top of it, I just worked out, so I'm going to also have a protein bar. So this is the protein bars I've been loving. I recently started having these and I'm obsessed. They are the RX bar and this one's actually the chocolate chip flavor. It has really clean ingredients in them and it tastes really yummy and they have all different flavors. One of my favorites is the peanut butter flavor. It is so yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this right now and then of course just make my tea and then I will catch up with you guys once I'm making another meal.
it is now time for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my lunch. I am going to be making a taco salad. This has been my new favorite thing. I am someone that loves anything tacos, burritos. I'm here for it. I like to have salads for lunch and I'm always switching up my salads to make it more fun and exciting and healthy, of course, and delicious. And lately I've been enjoying switching it up by having a taco salad. As you guys can see, I already have my ground turkey done with beans in them. I have organic black beans inside of it. I will share you with you guys that in a little bit, but I made this last night to have prepped for the week, so I don't have to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and start just chopping up some of the vegetables and making the salad. Definitely have to try this out, especially if you're someone that loves tacos. This is a healthy way to enjoy those tacos. So let's go ahead and start by cutting up the veggies. <laughs> I went ahead and just chopped up the lettuce and I already have the cucumbers and tomatoes chopped up in the fridge already prepared. So now I'm gonna just start making my little salad bowl and showing you what I put into it. Starting first, I just like to put the salad on the base and I actually like to chop the salad down quite a lot. I just like it to be smaller pieces when making my taco bowl. Now I'm gonna add the meat. So like I said, I pre-made this yesterday and it is just ground turkey and beans. If you guys wanna see the exact recipe on how I spice it and make it, I will link a video above, but I shared it in my meal prep video and it's one of my go-to. And this is going to obviously add a lot of that protein into the meal. Now for the toppings, I'm just gonna add some cucumbers. Then I'm gonna add some tomatoes. I would normally now put peppers, but unfortunately I just finished it yesterday. So usually I put some like red peppers and green peppers. But something else I add is just a little bit of cheese. I am a sucker for cheese. This is the Tex-Mex cheese that I get from Costco. To finish it off, I'm just going to be putting some salsa and then some guac into it. You can also add Greek yogurt into the mixture as kind of like a substitute for sour cream, but I am obsessed with this. It's a different way to get your greens in, but it tastes like a little chipotle bowl, just healthier than getting your takeout. I love little salads and bowls like this, and I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys another healthy bowl for dinner time, so stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and Mix this all together, devour this, and then catch you guys once I am eating something else. I absolutely devoured that salad. It is so good, one of my favorites. I swear you need to try it. I'm gonna go ahead and start on dinner. So like I said, I am going to be making a healthy bowl. As you guys can tell, salads and like bowls are definitely my thing. Even when I would eat out, I got a lot of like bowls from places because that's just like my jam and what I love. I love to switch them up. And today I'm going to be making a bowl with some cauliflower rice, falafel in it. So I'm gonna share with you everything I put and all of that good stuff and everything I use. And it is so yummy and I totally recommend trying it out for yourself as well. Let me know if you guys do try any of these bowls out, but so good and one of my go-tos lately as well for dinner time. I just kind of have been switching up and eating a lot of different bowls all the time because that's just honestly what I enjoy. It's healthy, but, and also it's a great way to get a bunch of things in. So I'm gonna share with you what I use, of course. Let's just get started.
For my bowl today, the first couple of things that I'm going to need is some cauliflower rice. Of course, you can use any sort of rice or you can even use quinoa, totally up to you. But recently, I've been loving the cauliflower rice. I picked these up from Costco. It comes in a box like this and it comes with six of these packets. So I'm going to make two today because I do wanna have leftovers and I am making dinner for my fiance and I. I like to try and make more so that, like I said, we can have leftovers. These are the falafels I've been loving. This is also from Costco. It is so yummy to add into bowls, add into salads. And it's just a switch up to having like chicken or meat. I really like to have falafels. They're made with chickpeas, which I am a huge lover of chickpeas. This is going to be the source of protein. The oil I will be spraying both my pants with is just this Chosen Food Avocado Oil Spray. It's a great oil to use, especially in high heat because it does have a heat point of 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray this pan, and then put the falafel in it for, and cook it for about eight to 10 minutes. And then in my other pan, I'm gonna spray it with this as well and put my cauliflower rice into it. And all you need for the cauliflower rice is just a little bit of any oil and water. This is how the falafels turned out. As you can see, I made the whole pack, so I'm definitely gonna have leftovers for the rest of the week. But I'm gonna start to make my bowl now and share with you what else I like to put into it. To finish it off, I'm just gonna put a little bit of tzatziki in the middle. It just pairs really well with the falafel. And this is how the bowl turned out. I'm excited to eat it. It tastes super yummy. Totally recommend trying it out. You can obviously put more into it, onions, peppers, whatever you prefer, but this is all I had. And it's a great way to also get more veggies in. That is all for the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It means so much to me. Like I said, I will link a few other videos like this in the description box if you guys wanna check out my other what I eat in a days. Thumbs it up if you guys like this and it helped you out. I will link my weight loss journey as well in the description box, but don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday. And on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.